Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be doing um, um, service modeling for um, Tesla Model S. As that's the model that we're going to um, uh, draw today. Um, so the uh, software that I use is Catia version five. It's a great so uh, service modeling software, but I'm very new to this, so if it's not good, please be supportive and uh, <clears throat> and understand, please. Um, first, so we need to insert a blueprint. Let's go to uh, go to the front of go to the front sketch tracer. And click this guy. We're gonna insert a front view, inject this to the middle. Roughly. Inject this up to there. Um looks okay. Now we need to check on the dimensions. That's fine. The bottom is fine. The vertical dimension is 1485. Enter the number over here, 1485. Click OK. Now click OK. Go to the right wheel. Insert the size. Get this to the top. Make sure it's on the top of the car um, enter 1485 over here select OK check again OK if it looks good go to the top Before that, we need to do something. Um, want to jack this to the very end, and then uh, copy the dimension over here. Let OK. Make sure it's at the very end. Yeah, that's fine. Right, let OK. Go to the top. Let get the tracer. And then um, top one, select top one, drag this to the middle roughly. Check this handle to the very end. There, and make sure um, this is copy uh, paste the uh, number we copied over here. Select OK. Check again. Make if everything is all right, and now we can go to the back and insert the last view, which is back view. And you select back view, go to the back, select back view. Um, select OK. Take this to the middle. Take this down. Up 
there. And to 1485 over here. Select OK. Uh, the back view and the front view are together. We can select, uh, go to painting gallery, select the last view, and uh, see, uh, see the arrow over here. Let's drag it to the back. Make sure it doesn't block the side view and the top view. That looks okay. That is good. Um, well, yeah, looks good, but we're not quite complete yet. We need to verify if the uh, blueprints are set up correctly. Uh, the blueprints are critical for your later modeling. So it's, it's important to have them set up correctly. So next step is uh, to insert uh, a new part that insert then click new part and click product one uh, and double click on pot body okay if you don't have the right workbench you can always go to start go to shape and click generative shape design but I already have that over here so um, <clears throat> here on the click dot, I uh, mean point, and click uh, uh, select on plane and select ZX plane. Over here, we are going to um, Um, trying to find the windshield, top of the windshield. I think it's about here. Go to the top and we'll try to. Yeah, it looks about right. So make sure the dot is at the end of this curve. That's where the windshield, the top of the windshield is. I think we got it right. Yep. Looks legit. Um go to the well, actually go to the site. We click on the dot again. This time we're gonna verify the front view and this is how we do it. We select point and select on plane and click ZX plane and over here you can on the top of the one uh, on the top of the front grill you can put a dot over there then go to the front yes yes the dot is over there if you can yeah it's on the top of the grill so we are good um, <clears throat> now we are what, what did I click Uh, okay. Oh, it's okay. They just switch places. That's uh, that's fine. Go back to the side. I mean the back wheel and uh, actually the the side wheel. Let's try to verify the dots. Uh, click point, click ZX plane, and put a dot over there on the top of the back bearing. Put dot over there. Go to the back. Well, you see here, we want this dot to match the end of this curve. It is not right now. Um, I guess we have to move the picture up. 
So I guess we have to move the picture up and then that's important. So double click on painting four. Double click. Mm. Sorry, I made a mistake. Let's do that again. Um, want to move the picture up? Yeah, just move it down like this. Um, see the dot is uh, at the end of that curve. That looks good. Select OK. Okay, that's how you set up the uh, blueprints. Uh, there's more coming, so 